To start this demonstration, we are starting off by going to Microsoft Teams. Because um, when we are using Power Platform and Teams, um, we also have the ability to use chatbots. And these chatbots today can be also utilizing ChatGPT, so OpenAI, in a secure way by using the Microsoft Azure OpenAI infrastructure. Uh, when we are in Teams, you will notice that you have this chatbot. And uh, if I go down here and I write the uh, hi, for instance, then it will, uh, within a few seconds, give me the options that I have. And this can again be tailored to the needs. So uh, it says, hello, I'm your assistant. Let me know how I can help. And you can then create a project, an idea. You can learn something. You can get support. Or you can just chat using uh, GPT, so chat GPT in a secure way. Now for this demo, we're going to start off by doing an uh, idea. So we're going to click create idea. And based on that, it will ask me some um, questions that it knows uh, are needed in order to create new ideas. So if I say my um, webcast uh, demo, one, two, three, that could be the name. After that, it will probably ask me about the description, my super idea description. And I think that's enough in this case, uh, in the out of the box experience for it to create the project or the idea in this case. And it then says, here's the link to your idea. And do you want more help? If you click yes, then you will again be prompted with the different options you have. So if I click on uh, this link up here, it will take me directly to the idea that has been created inside Power PPM. And you can see it has carried over um, the description and also the name. And again, much more could be added if you wanted to. That's all up to how we configure these bots. Now, when we have created an idea, you will notice that there are lots of fields we can fill in. So tagging it to the right portfolio, having a start and end date, let's say it should start today and maybe end, uh, let's say November uh, here. You can add a budget, for instance, like 150,000. This could be multi-currency if you wanted to, so you can have a currency picker. You can, for instance, uh, rate it against your strategic goals. So if you have uh, different OKRs, as we call them, so objectives and key results, you could uh, go up and down in terms of how much impact you believe that this idea has on a certain goal. So if we select eight, then we could also select the appropriate, let's say, driver which, or goal, which could be growth and APAC. And we could explain why this idea is good. Furthermore, we have market fit, also from low to high, where we can also explain why it's a good market fit. And finally, we then have the revenue down here, where we can say it's high revenue, because over the next three years, we expect this uh, idea or project to generate, let's say, 500,000 USD. And we can save that information. Once we do that, which takes less than a second, you will see that it now has an ROI up here of 2.3. Um, there are lots of things we haven't done. We don't have a timeline. We don't have the idea type and so forth. Um, but again, this is just to illustrate that we can capture demand before it becomes a project. Up here, we have the stage gate model where you can also expand. And here you will see there are different requirements in order for this project to progress. And because we have a name, because we have a description, and because we have ROI, I'm allowed to progress to the next stage. As an example, if I did not have a description and I tried to progress up here, you would be blocked until you have done what it tells, the, tells you that you should do. So let's add the description in again. And that means we can then go to the next stage. So this way you can have a streamlined approach to capture early ideas, uh, mature them inside this PPM tool. And once you're ready, you can have other people score it, or you could manually go in and say, let's now convert this idea to a real initiative or a real project. So by selecting the yes button and hitting save, and out of the box, what we do is that we convert this to a project, but we also keep the original idea, which means that we now have a corresponding project, but we also have the idea. It's two different things, so we can always manage them separate. 